What's going on everyone, Rich Lee here, and today it's time for the sixth episode in Season 2 of my Oxford United Road to Glory series. We've started the season incredibly well so far, we're top of the table. In the first game today though, we're coming up against Wigan. They're second in the league at the moment, and if they beat us, they will leapfrog us into first place. So let's get out there and let's see what happens. And although Wigan are one of the very best teams at this level, so are Oxford United and we very nearly get a goal there. We still got control of the ball. Can we get a second chance? No, not quite. But now Kemar's on the ball. Plays that off to Franco. He's going to look for Kemar Roof once again. Very nice control there. Test the keeper. And then Franco's there to tap the ball into the empty net. He's been absolutely incredible so far for Oxford. He was a free agent. Picked him up, hasn't got the best of shooting, but I've been training him up with his finishing. He's getting a lot better, and he keeps on scoring at the moment. He's been my very favourite player just lately, but Wigan respond well to going behind, and they get an equaliser. To be honest, they didn't really seem to wake up until I scored. We were on the front foot, but then as soon as I scored, they really turned it on, and they've got another chance here. Joe Scars can't quite get control of the ball. They play it to Will Grigg. He's on fire. He finds the back on it. My defence was terrified of him. And they take the lead. It's 2-1 to Wigan at this point. And I didn't really see us coming back into the game, to be honest. As I said before, as soon as we scored and went ahead, Wigan just started playing some incredible football. We couldn't get near them. And I wasn't at all surprised when they took the lead, to be completely honest with you. And they were just playing like Barcelona in this game. This is the way that Legendary should always play too often. It's just way too easy. But in this game, I just couldn't get near Wigan. They get a third goal and ultimately they win the game 3-1. They were too good for us. I couldn't match them and they go ahead of us in the league. Wigan are now top and we're second. Next up then, we're taking on Oldham. Another decent team at this level, but nowhere near the quality of Wigan or in fact Oxford. We're amazing. Oldham are okay, but I'm expecting to beat them. They've got the first chance of the game, though. They knocked that one wide, and now they've got another chance here. They've started the game incredibly well, working the ball down that right wing. They get around us far too easily there. They're moving past us, get around so many Oxford players there, but then the shot was absolutely shocking from Phyllis Kirk. What on earth was he doing there? They did the hard part, and then when it came to the shot itself, they just completely screwed it up. And talking of screwing it up, we should have scored that. It should have been 1-0 to Oxford, but... Unfortunately not. Oldham get another chance there, but they hit that over the bar. And now they're working the ball into the box once again. Are they going to get a goal this time? They turn this comfortably. They go for the shot. It just goes wide. Into the second half then. Oldham are still on the front foot. Nice ball over. And what on earth was my keeper doing there? Stevens is playing this game today. Not Fennec. Fennec was in bad form after that last game. So I decided to give another keeper a chance. And instantly regretted it to be honest he was poor there should have done a lot better and Oldham take the lead look at this on the second replay what was he doing he dives after the ball's already gone past him absolutely prophetic attempt we're on the attack again now though with Franco and he's got a one-star weak first you saw there absolutely shocking shot of goal Oldham are panicking now though he's still got the lead but they are panicking we're applying the pressure, and they're not coping well with it. They just about managed to get the ball clear, though. And now we've got another chance here. Reese Oxford's working the ball forward. Can we get the equaliser here? Reese Oxford's going to cross this one over to Franco, and he scores once again. As I was saying in that last game, he just keeps on scoring lately. He was signed as a free agent, but he's amazing. He's my very favourite player in this Oxford United team. He just keeps stepping up and scoring goals. And of course, he scored the equaliser there. And we've got a few opportunities here to get a winning goal. Can we get that winner? Oh, what on earth was that, mate? That was shocking. Franco should have scored again there. Couldn't quite manage it. And ultimately, it's a 1-1 draw. Oldham only had one shot on target all game. And they scored it. Heading into this next game against Southend then. We're not in good form at all. One defeat, one draw. We really need to get back to winning ways here. The last couple of results just haven't been good enough. And unfortunately, Southend start the game on the front foot here. They get around us far too easily and they score. Phoenix back in goal for this one, but it doesn't seem to matter. We're still conceding goals, still leaking them in. And that was a good shot though, to be fair. That very easily could have got us the equaliser. We've got another chance. Can't quite score that one either though. And now Southend are on the attack once again. Are they going to get a second goal? Almost. That was quality defending there to deny them. And now Duncan Watmore's working the ball away. Can we create a chance of our own? 
Duncan Watmore's searching for the pass here. Moving his way forward. Plays it off to Denon Lewis. Now, what's Denon going to do? He's looking for the pass back to Duncan Watmore, but that was pathetic. And then he commits a foul. Denon Lewis has not had a very good start to his Oxford career so far. He's been poor, but look at that double ball roll from Duncan Watmore. Then he finds the back of the net. Beautiful bit of play there from Duncan Watmore. On occasion, he's been absolutely incredible for Oxford this season. I've not always been impressed with him since I signed him, but on that occasion, he does find the back of the net. Blistering shot there. The keeper had no chance. And it's 1-1. We've got the equaliser before half-time. And heading into the second half, I was feeling very confident. Southend, though, instantly get another goal. As we enter the second half, that looked offside to me, to be completely honest with you. But obviously, it was just about onside. On the replay, you can see again that it was slightly questionable. But the linesman doesn't give it. They find the back of the net. And it's 2-1 to Southend. We've got another chance here, though, with Den Lewis racing his way forward. They take him down in the box. And we've got a penalty. A chance from the spot to equalise once again. And Lewis takes that chance. He smashes it into the back of the net. But now Southend are working the ball forward once again. Nice ball over, but the shot itself was absolutely pathetic. And so was that. That should have been a goal, but poor shot. We've got another chance, though, with Jason Banton. Goes for goal. Good stop by the keeper. And then Denon Lewis can't quite get there. Now Joe Scars is looking for a pass. Working his way down that left wing. Doesn't quite know what to do. So he turns the ball back. Still looking for a pass. Uses his strength there to hold the south end man off. And now he's still looking for that pass. Plays it forward to Denon Lewis. He turns on it. And then absolutely rifles it into the back of the net. As I was saying before, Denon Lewis hasn't always impressed me this season. But on that occasion, that was an absolutely beautiful strike from the young lad. We've only got him on loan. But if he can carry on doing stuff like that, there may well be a future for him at Oxford United. Beautiful finish. 3-2 victory. And that's the way that the game's going to finish. And after finally picking up a victory in that last game, it's now time to take on Berry. Can we take that win from the last game, build a bit of momentum, pick up another victory in this game? I hope so. We need it. Wigan have overtaken us at this point, so we definitely need the win here. And now Che Adams is on the ball. What can he do? Plays the ball off to push. He goes for goal, just over the bar, though. Now we've got another chance here. Reese Oxford launches it forward for Franco. Not good control there, but he wins it back. Took the shot far too early there. Should have carried on running with it. Now they've got a chance, and that's a very nice stop by Fennick. They should have scored there. And now they've got yet another chance. Are they going to score this time? Nope, that wasn't a particularly great shot. Not a great header. We've got another chance, though, and that's a good stop by the keeper. We've got another crack at it, and that's just wide. Neither team can quite find the back of the net at this point. Both have had good opportunities, but it's not quite happening. And now we've got another chance here, though, with Jake Wright. He moves that over to Sebastian Push. He goes for goal, and that's an awesome save by the keeper. It's another chance here, as Callum O'Dowd is working his way into the box. Goes for goal, another good stop, and Franco misses the ball there. He's still on it, though. Loses it, manages to win it back. Come on, Franco. So much determination there. Gets around his man. This has got to result in a goal. Push. Oh, that was pathetic. Should have been a better finish there. We've got another chance, and that was a perfect opportunity to take the lead. We should have taken that one. And that was a very dangerous cross there from Berry. They very easily could have scored there. And that's a pathetic shot. So many nearly opportunities here. And that's yet another one. Should have scored the header. Didn't. And somehow, it's a nil-nil draw. And usually, I like to include more games per video than this in this series. But we've been in absolutely pathetic form today. So I'm not going to risk it. Not going to play any more games. And I'll end the video there. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you again next time.